everyone, Icecool Tech here. Now, we're going to be taking a look to see how the iPhone 7 handles the latest iOS 14 beta, iOS 14.5 beta 2. Now, free your iPhone 7 from overheating by hitting that subscribe button just below. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Now, general performance since updating from iOS 14.5 beta 1 to iOS 14.5 beta 2 has remained completely unchanged. Apps launch just as fast, web pages load up without any problems, video playback is very smooth, games run without major stuttering, etc. So whatever performance you're getting on iOS 14.4 or iOS 14.5 beta 1 is what you should expect on iOS 14.5 beta 2. Now, nobody really cares, but RAM management has been fair, especially when considering this iPhone's age and how much RAM it actually has. In case you didn't know, by the way, the iPhone 7 is running off of 2GB of RAM, or if you have a 7 Plus, that would be 3GB of RAM, versus 4 or 6GB of newer iPhones. Naturally, apps tend to reload more frequently when several apps are open and progressively gets worse with heavier apps. Other than that, however, apps remain open in the background without many issues. Now, <laughs> animations, funny joke. Yeah, I'll make it quick. All animations are smooth, but app library and widgets page stuttering do remain. Before I get into battery life, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone 7 is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 90% and has never had a restart. Make sure to let me know in the comments what your maximum battery capacity is and how many times, if ever, you've had your iPhone 7 restart completely unexpectedly on you. Battery life since updating to iOS 14.5 beta 2 has remained nearly unchanged. There is no major drain and battery life on this release of iOS is slightly better than that of beta 1, but again nothing major. You can pull off a full day of lighter use without needing to charge it throughout the day, while you'll likely need to throw your iPhone on the charger with medium to heavy use. Standby time has been absolutely amazing, however. I've noticed an overnight drain of just 2% and that is the best standby time I've seen in a while for iPhone 7. Keep in mind that your battery life can and will most likely vary for mine. Overheating has also remained the same. I've noticed reduced overheating with mid-weight tasks, and overheating is virtually non-existent while performing lightweight tasks, with increased overheating when performing heavier tasks, which is really only natural. Now there hasn't been much change overall between the first and second betas of iOS 14.5, or even the latest public release iOS 14.4, the standby time being probably the biggest change, luckily in a positive way. However, we still make our way back to the main question of should you update? Well, if you're on a previous release of iOS 14, such as iOS 14.4, 14.3, iOS 14.2 or earlier, I'd recommend waiting for the public release of iOS 14.5 before you update. If you're on an iOS 13 release, I'd only recommend updating an iOS 14.4 and only if you're already experiencing battery drain and overheating. Now, if you're on iOS 12 and earlier, I'd recommend staying there unless you absolutely have to update. All right, everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now, if you do have any questions or you just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description down below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.